All right, everybody, welcome back. So today is November 15th. I am heading to New Hampshire. I just left my house. I got my Christmas music playing. I know it's early, but you got to start somewhere. <clears throat> so I will see you guys when I get to camp. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome to New Hampshire. Listen to a little wham for some music this morning. Um, yeah, so now I'm heading to camp. I am in New Hampshire. I gotta stay on this route for two miles and I will be there. So I hope all of you guys are having some luck this year. I know I've shot at that one deer twice and missed him, but I'm going here to see if I can uh, get a bigger deer. <laughs> so, I will meet you guys at camp here and uh, we'll see how things are going. I gotta find the road first. I always get that first road back there mixed up. I think this is the road right here. No, that's not a road. That's a, that's a mile marker. Oh, here we go. Here's camp. Yes, I'm here. Woohoo! All right, guys, I'll meet you out in the woods. All right, everybody. Well, it's a winter wonderland up here in northern New Hampshire. And I'm enjoying it. Glad to be out hunting up in the big woods. If you can see the mountain in the background, I'm heading that way. Um, we cut a couple coyote tracks. And that's it. Um, I just got dropped off here. And, oh, there's a track right there. Another coyote. The boys at camp said they haven't been seen much. Um, they've been hunting Maidstone, Vermont, where I want to shoot something here in New Hampshire. So I'm making my way up to the mountain and uh, see if we can get something. So stay tuned. Well, I cut a buck track. It was last night sometime. I've been following it. Now I can't seem to find it. The snow has buried it. So I'm making my way back down to close towards the road. I'm up high. But just sneaking and peeking, looking. It's really thick in here. So I'm going to head back down that way and see uh, if he's down there. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting the elusive partridge. Look at the track on that thing. That thing is huge. I think he went that way. There he goes. I don't think I have a big enough dragon rope for him. Well, I got down here. There's a scrape there. And a scrape right there. There's his track. Looks like he freshened it out not that long ago. Looks like he's heading down. So I'm gonna slowly make my way down this way. So I lost that buck track. Was, he came down and across the road and I couldn't see where he went. He didn't make any marks on the road whatsoever. So I came up where I first started heading up through. There used to be a clear cut up here, but now everything's all grown up. So I'm gonna sit up here and look around see if I can find anything running around up here I keep finding coyote tracks everywhere it's kind of depressing to see those things <sighs> but we'll give it a shot we'll see what we can find well I found some tracks not the tracks I want to see most tracks um and more coyote tracks this moose isn't that far in front of me either not that far away. Fresh. I wonder if I'll see him up there. Be cool to see a moose. I haven't seen a moose in a while. Let's find out. There's a bald deer track up in here, so I'm Waiting to see if it comes out. I've been called to it twice now. I'm here 
and snapping and stuff when it's raining and sleeting. So I think it's just that. I think it's snowing. More like hailing. I think I'm going to head back towards camp, hunt on my way back. Just keep an eye out. Look, see if anything's bedded down. We'll see uh, if we find anything. Well, it's uh, 3.30. I'm uh, probably about a thousand yards from camp. I'm up in uh, one of the guy's tree stands and down below. There's uh, two trees that have been hooked pretty good. It's snowing. I uh, need to sit in the tree stand for a while. My legs are just so sore from walking. My legs hurt. My knees hurt. Oh, my God. So I went back to camp and rested for uh, about 45 minutes and then walked down the road. Came up in, my legs started to ache, and I was like, you know, I've just got to sit in the tree stand. So, saw these rubs on the trees right in front of the tree stand, so why not? So, we'll see what happens. It's four o'clock. I have a uh, half an hour until I can't shoot anymore. I've been calling. I'm hearing a lot of stuff, but I think it's just the wind blowing leaves around. Uh, leaves that haven't fallen off the trees. Um, the ground's pretty wet, so it's kind of hard to hear. But I've been listening for sticks breaking. Nothing yet. It's snowing. We're supposed to get. I think they said a half an inch of snow tonight up here. So hopefully by morning you'll stop and I'm going to be right back up in this tree stand and see if I can call it in. So, got a half an hour and we'll see what happens. Morning. So, I'm heading up in the woods behind camp. I, uh, well, what do you know? Looks like a coyote came behind camp last night. Um, got up 7 o'clock this morning. I was exhausted from yesterday. I uh, so excited I didn't sleep much the night before. Slept like a rock last night. Stay up till 11 talking to all the guys. But uh, it snowed last night. Heading up to the tree stand now. Do some calling, see if uh, see if we can find anything. I moved out of the tree stand, came up to this clearing, and uh, I have not caught one track yet. We have fresh snow on the ground. I have no idea where the deer are. Find tracks yesterday, today, nothing. Oh, it's kind of depressing. You know, I thought coming up here it would have been nice. Boys have been hunting hard and uh, haven't seen anything. Some of them have been hunting Brunswick, Vermont. Haven't seen anything. Tracks, but no deer. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. I thought this year up here would have been nice. But, thinking about packing up, heading home, trying to hunt back home, and then maybe come back up here later. But, who knows? We'll see. I'm going to walk around a little bit more. 
knees bothering me kind of overworked it yesterday and today so I'm just taking it easy it's still aggravating me I can go up hills no problem but downhills oh it's like murder so who knows I might end up packing it up early and heading home may try hunting there bring my daughter out see if she, she shoots something so stay tuned we'll see what we all right well came down the road and uh, there's an opening behind me right there I was standing up by that doodad right there and uh, right in that opening by that sign there was a doe thought it was a buck at first and put the scope turned it up look it was just a doe and then where am I this opening right here I headed into there there's some tracks coming back going in there's another deer so I went down the road did this big loop and the deer's in this thicket behind me hasn't come out but judging how it went into all that stuff it's probably just another doe or a really small like spike horn um, not that I wouldn't shoot a spike horn but um, it's so thick in there I can't push through I'm not gonna go in I'm gonna go back down the road and uh, see if that deer came out since I had been down on the other side walking around the loop. So I'll keep you guys posted. So stay tuned. All right, well, I'm on the town road and I looked. That freaking deer did cross the road. Went up into there. <sighs> I don't know how long ago. Not that long. Not that long at all. I gotta get heading in there and see if we can find her. Let's find out. All right, so I started tracking that doe way down at the end of the road. And uh, following her up through near camp, and another deer ran into her. <clears throat> and then I started realizing it's a buck following her. He's been chasing her the whole time. It's been about an hour and a half, and uh, he chased her up into here. And I am just getting beat. My legs are sore. My feet are sore. I'm gonna probably just look over the hill here for a minute. I gotta head back to camp. My legs are just shot. I can't go anymore. Oh, man, I can't say that I haven't had a good time. So, oh, we'll uh, see what we can do here. So here's his tracks. Her tracks are over there. She went that way. He's following her. <coughs> so I've been following him for a while. And he's chasing her down here. And if I drop my phone, it's because I went to get my gun off my shoulder. Yeah, he's still chasing her down here. I haven't heard him. They've been chasing her for a while. Yeah. He's got a good stride to him. So. I just saved the coordinates at that tree and give them to my buddy Scott so tomorrow or something he can come up here and look for him. I think I'll be heading home tonight. My legs are just killing me. Then I can hunt home with my daughter this week so 